Uh, Corey, how are you settling into Tucson? I'm settling in great. Everything's been good. It's it's just been a family atmosphere, and you know the guys just welcome me, welcome me, welcome me in. It just you know it just feels great to be here. What led you to come back to Arizona? Just just the people. Um, I just felt like it was a great fit, and this is where I needed to be. So that's what really led me. David and then Brian. Uh, Jacory, for you, uh, I was talking to somebody back in New Mexico who kind of described your style as as Eddie George, maybe on a smaller stature. Uh, why do you believe that might be true? The way that you play the game, because of how physical he is, how you know how he approached the game. You know, he's a hundred percent every play, and that's that's somebody I look up to, and I feel like that's a great company. Brian and Troy. Well, uh, these these first two practices, especially when it gets to the drills with Coach Carter, does it feel like you're just like right back at, at San Jose, or is, is, it, is it any different this year? Um, that's a little bit different. We have more equipment and uh, more help, and uh, it just he's trying to like change up little little things here and there, but the concept is the same. But it's like he just add on a little stuff to it. Yeah. And, and I, I kind of noticed that he, he didn't give special treatment to anybody, whether you fifth, sixth year, or first year. He's going to yell at you if you mess up, right? Yeah, see, and like, he yells at everybody. He yells at me the most, I believe, than, than uh, Ja'Cory. But, I mean, it's no favoritism with Coach Carter. We just, you're going to get his best every day. He's going to give you, and we have to give him our best. And that's his style of coaching, so you got to accept it. Troy and then Justin. Uh, Ja'Cory, Coach Carter talked about both of you guys having that Alabama background. And what did that mean to you to have a coach that knows where you're coming from and, you know, growing up in Alabama and just that connection that you two have? Um, it, it's kind of great to have somebody who's, you know, who's familiar with down south, got, you know, family down south. And, you know, him just, him just like relating to me a little bit more, like on and off the field, it just, it's, it just feels great. And then can you give a little background to the uh, Bill or Little Bill story behind that nickname? Oh, uh, yes, sir. So basically growing up, I always had like, you know, like a shaved head and they gave me that name from the character Little Bill and it just, it just stuck ever since. So that was my nickname growing up. So, yeah. Justin and then Aaron in the back. I guess question for both of you guys, now that all the running backs are here, what do you think collectively you guys can do for the offense and complement? All the others together. Um, I mean, we, I'll say one of the big, bigger parts of the team because we have myself, we have Ja'Cory, we have Speedy, we have Kedrick, and I just feel like we have so much to bring to the table because we got Speedy, probably the fastest in the country, and me, Bill, and Kedrick are all bigger backs, and I just feel like like we could catch, we could run, we could block. Everybody could run and catch and block. I just feel like as a, as a unit, we just we stacked. Yeah. Um, just basically what he said, and every day we're compete, competing to get better, you know, just just trying to be the best, one of the best um, running, back, running back rooms in the nation. That's probably it. Quality, have you had a chance to play the video game yet? Oh, yes, I have. How, how, how do you utilize yourself in the game? Um, I just thought giving the ball every time. I just put me on routes, give me the ball. Then when I'm not open, I just throw the team back. Then I just run the ball in. So it's just I like playing with myself, but also like throwing it to like like Montana and T Mac. And uh I just like using everybody because it's just cool to see everybody else in the game too. Aaron and Damian in the back. Jacory, you had the chance to stay a little bit closer to home, but inevitably ended up here. What was it about Tucson and the Arizona coaching staff that really drove you to stay here? It's, it was just, you know, the people and the fit. I mean, I feel like I was already out west in New Mexico, so, you know, one more season wouldn't hurt. And I just feel like it was like a great opportunity for, you know, me, you know, to help the team out. So, you know, just keep keep up the great things that they that they did last year and you know we just want to build something special here and just just do it again. Damien and then Michael. Same question for both of you sort of probably so what does the red line mile mean to you? 
Uh, it means 100% every play. Uh, leave it all on the field, no matter what, because at the end of the day, every play you get 1% better. And I just feel like Coach Brennan and Coach Carter, they like nails it every day because you can't just loaf on the field in, in a real game because something bad gonna happen. So it's just like giving your giving your all 100 percent every play, and because you we have a break after, so just might as well just give it your all. Same thing, 100 percent. You know, just it, it, anytime you're in, you know, between those lines, it's 100 percent. You know, just having each other back. And that's, that's it. Just just making sure we're giving our all each and every play to, to get better. Well, Michael and then Troy. You know, two questions, one for Corey and one for both. Corey, you're not in the game. As of right now, has it been frustrating for you waiting for that update? It's now? been really frustrating. I've been waiting to play, play with myself for the longest, play with Arizona, you know, my friends and stuff. So I connect. I, I reached out to EA Sports trying to get in the game. They reached back. But whenever the update is, that's when I'll be in it. I just, I just can't wait. Right. And for both of you, we you got a chance to watch Coach Carter coach you guys up close. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a lot of emphasis on details. Yeah. What are some of the most important details that he talks about that can help you be the, the best versions of yourself? <laughs> Either one or both. I'll start off with ball security, blocking, just – all the small details it is to be a great back. You know, if it, if he see it's an error in your game, he's gonna fix it and he gonna he gonna emphasize it. He just he just wants you to be the, like the best person, the best player you can be on the field. Uh, go off what he said, ball security and uh just keeping your pad level low because like it's it's a lot of big, big uh interior guys in the big twelve. So just keeping your pad level low so you don't get Knock back too much. You can always have have a uh, forward lean so you can fall forward and just the little things that is bigger in the bigger picture it helps you more with the ball security, not fumbling the black the black hole. Uh, forward lean just when you can tackle, fall forward, just little things like that. Well, Troy and then David, Corey, two questions for you. First mm -hmm. one, um, obviously here at Arizona, mm -hmm. along with Danny Gonzalez, who's your former head coach in New Mexico. What is that relationship like, and, and what is he like? You know, just one on one, be like, you know, just describe that whole relationship there. Their relationship's been great since I stepped at the University of New Mexico. We just, you know, we competed together. You know, we grinded together. So it's it's just been so good. And he's treat he treat me like everybody else. He gonna stay on me if I'm doing bad or if I'm, you know. He sees something that I could be better at, and he know I could. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna stay on me. It's no, you know, just favoritism. He's just gonna stay on me, and I love that about him. It's just been great ever since I met him. And then you also have a former teammate that came to Arizona as well, with Shanko. Mm -hmm. uh, what's he like? You know, because we haven't gotten a chance to talk to him. So just describe him, what his personality is like. Great player, uh, doesn't talk a lot, but. He he's gonna he's gonna give his all every play. It don't matter if he got you know you know like nits and bruises. He gonna he's gonna give his all every play. He's just a good dude overall, and he's solid. He's a, he's a good he's a good player in person. David and then Justin. Uh, this question is for both of you guys. Obviously, with a stack running back room, and you essentially have four guys who could be the guy. How do you describe the importance of every rep? And how you approach those reps? Um, one thing Coach Carter talks a lot about is uh, he don't have like just one guy. He have a lot of one A, one B. In this case, one A, one B, one C, one D. Like everybody is a one. He want everybody to prepare like a starter and go out and play like you're a starter. Don't play like you're a backup. And I just feel like every rep is something like every rep. It's like it's not gonna be perfect, but like he just wanna see you giving your all and just make a fast mistake, not like it's just a slow mistake, stop, throw the ball on the ground. Just make a fast mistake because we could fix it in the film room. So just giving your all and uh just it we have a whole practice. You have more reps and plays, so just just like flushing the bad plays in the toilet and just move on to the next. And it's just basically what he's saying. Playing this position, you never know what might happen. So 
everybody's got to be ready to go at any given moment, and we got the talent to do that. So just just treat everybody the same, and that's it. Last question, Justin. Uh, for both you guys, what are your impressions of Noah Fafita and what traits does he show that makes him a good quarterback? Uh, Noah, that's my guy. I, I call him captain. Every time I see him, call him captain because he just – Every time he talks, people just listen. Like, no matter what he says, people listen. And people, like, naturally just follow behind Noah. And, like, he he's just a great leader. And, like, he so respectful in the community and other things. And, like, I don't know, just, like, Noah, he's, like, he's, like, really – he's a good he's a good person. And just picking off what, what, what he just said, he's, you know, a field general. Like, he, he's really smart, so – they just make it the game like ten times. Like if he wants you to do something, he'll tell you. And he just he just a, a great quarterback and just a good guy to be around.